to talk about some of the different tools that we offer on the site and also tools that we are going to be offering um, and they'll all be available pretty soon here. Uh, so if you don't see it, maybe just give us a call, email us and ask us and uh, we can definitely try to make it happen for you. Um, if it's something we don't offer at all, again, we can possibly special order it for you. So just don't hesitate, reach out to us and uh, ask. Um, so first we'll start kind of the basic end, um, screwdrivers and uh, some wire strippers and move up. We use D-pin tools that allow you to remove wires out of most connectors um, and they can range anywhere from sets like this, which are kind of a more universal basic set. Um, these are a little bit cheaper. They're a little easier to break, but uh, they actually do pretty well for most stuff. Um, then we have the bigger kits and then we have the screwdrivers like I was mentioning. Now the screwdrivers are a, a pretty basic kit. The only catch is, is that these have one that goes specifically down to a 1.0 and the issue that you'll find a lot is that most kits won't actually have one that goes this low. They'll say it does but it doesn't. So while it's a basic kit we actually get these very specifically because it has the correct size which is a very small 1.0 then we quality control check it, get rid of any that are bent, things like that. Um, so we have the very small uh, little 8 piece kit, we have a 16 piece kit which uh, is a step up so it's like this one. So we have the eight piece, the 16 piece. From there we go up to a bigger uh, 23 piece. This is a more dedicated kit, kind of like this smaller set that I showed you. Um, but these all have kind of the bigger rubber handle so it's easier to grip onto and are even more specific to the task. So what you'll see is um, it's got a bit more uh, options but they all are pretty similar so you've got a bunch of the two pin release tools um, so different uh, different General Motors uh, a lot of European stuff um, and these I'll show you here kind of uh, have to be pretty pretty exact and so what you'll see and I can grab a couple here and you'll notice that everything looks pretty similar and actually there's probably eight in there and what it is is just slight variances in the thickness and lengths. And so different connectors that use that style, which like General Motors is going to a lot of this now where it takes the two pins to release the, the actual metal terminal. Uh, when you're sliding that down into the connector, you're gonna kind of know immediately if you've got the wrong one because it's just gonna feel either too tight or too loose. And so you just kind of move through there. What I do is once I find the ones that work for a connector, I just mark the number and I can kind of remember that. Uh, moving forward. Uh, so that stuff is all what we use mainly for deep pinning. And